Good morning. Our gathering hymn today is number 355. 355 Hosea 355. Uh, gathering him number 355, Hosea. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees of Today is the memorial of Saints Perpetua and Felicity, martyrs of our church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, at the urging of those love, the martyrs, Saint Perpetua and Felicity, defy their persecutors and overcame the torment of death. Grant we ask, by their prayers, we may ever grow in your love. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, 
the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I shall show, show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your houses no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that gives the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore do not observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tied up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues. Greetings in marketplaces and a salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have only one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have only one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. The public ministry of Jesus is a continued reminder for all of us Though there is that distance between Jesus and the Jews, but he himself too is the Son of God, and thus he himself know what is everything. And Jesus continued to confront the Jewish people with all of these things, especially the scribes and the Pharisees, about the things that they know and how they live their moral life. And thus this Lenten season too is for us to be confronted of the many things in our own observances of the things that the Lord Jesus has taught to us. Our Christian faith has a lot of things that we need to follow, especially of those whom that this given everything, the things that we need and learn among our own very selves. The one who knows much about the faith should also live more according to the faith. Perhaps this Lenten season is really a moment for us to deepen our understanding of the many things Jesus has given and laid down to us, especially we followers and disciples of the loving Lord. We had been handed of the many things and the given inspiration that we always take, 
the word of God, the learnings that we learn from the, everything that Jesus has given us. Truly, this Lenten season is for us to receive and live within our own very hearts. To lead and have the knowledge is really very challenging because the responsibility in it is also what we call the calling that we must receive and the life that we must live. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord for the gift of a humble and quiet heart, to be at rest when nobody praises us, and when we are blamed or despised for our confidence in the Lord, who alone knows the human heart. Grant our religious leaders the gift of compassion and humility to recognize their shortcomings and to be kind, gentle, giving, and forgiving. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our political and civil leaders make justice their aim, redress those who are wronged, and defend those who have less in life. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. May we not impose on others the burden that we ourselves are unable or unwilling to carry. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Help us to praise rather than criticize, and to think of people at their best rather than at their worst. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. May we bear witness to our faith less by words and more by action. May there be no contradiction between what we say and what we do. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For Arthur Umali and family for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear, our, hear prayer. our prayers. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Our loving and merciful Father, help us to perform our actions to help others with charity, humility, and simplicity, and only for our greater and only for your greater glory. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 541, by 401, O Sacrament Most Holy. Lord Jesus, we adore you.
Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we joyfully offer our Lord this day of sacrifice, recalling the heaven's sent victory of saints perpetua and felicity, we proclaim by its mighty deeds and rejoice at having gained the glorious intercession to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your praise in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer on us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So they're encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses. We may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory to Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and saints and archangels, and the thrones and the multitude of saints, who sing the hymn of your praise is without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of You are indeed, O little Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Judas, in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection unto you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Barry, our bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Honored as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to her apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. I should go to the sick and the homebound, take not only the sacrament was celebrated, but also the word of God which I've heard, as well as the faction of this parish community. As for the price of those whom with the visit in return, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. As we draw everlasting joys, O Lord, from our participation in this sacrament and from the memorial of saints Perpetua and Felicity, we humbly implore that by your gift we may truly understand what you grant us to enact in diligent service to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered. We now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you, God. Our sending forth hymn is number 425. 425, humbly, Lord, we worship you. Humbly, Lord, we worship you, our eternal King. You who died to give us life, hear us as we sing. Jesus, go on and Lord of all, come to us, we Thus united in your love, may we. 